So you're looking into moving to Walnut Creek, California and wondering if it's the right town for you? Well, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about all the things that you need to know before coming on over here to Wanna Creek, so stay tuned. What's up guys, Rachel Capel here, East Bay Realtor in California. If you're wanting to know all about the San Francisco Bay Area, what it's like living, playing, having fun, and buying real estate in the SF Bay Area, this is the channel for you. So make sure to click that subscribe button and smash that like button so we can get that YouTube algorithm going and keep all these videos coming your way. We are getting calls, texts, emails, DMs from people every single day that are wanting to move to the San Francisco Bay Area. We absolutely love it. So if you want to know more and you have more questions about what it's like living, playing and having fun here, definitely reach out to us. Information is above and we got you covered when coming on over to the San Francisco Bay Area. All right, so let's get into this video. Everything that you need to know about living in Walnut Creek, California. We're going to do a little map tour and go over some specific spots and all the things that you need to know when moving on over here to Walnut Creek, California. So let's get to it. All right, so let's get into this video of Walnut Creek. Everything that you need to know. This is a map of Walnut Creek, and I'm gonna kind of go over the different locations. As you can see, the Bay Area consists of what you will normally do if you're flying on in, you're gonna to go to San Francisco International Airport, which is down here. And you can see, let me go over to Waze. I'm gonna kind of show you the vicinity of how far it is from um, SFO, which is right here. It is approximately 36 miles, you can see here from Waze, which is like not that far. It really is not that far, but in traffic, it can be pretty brutal. So if you're leaving right now, it'd take you about an hour, 4.22. It's right now, it's 3.20. So it'd take, if you're leaving to go to San Francisco Air, International Airport, you would be looking at an hour. In traffic, that's even worse. So right now, you're going to kind of go reverse commute because it's like late in the day and everyone's coming back into Walnut Creek, but it just kind of shows you the vicinity of where how far that is now Oakland if you've flown into Oakland it probably take I'd say about 45 minutes without traffic 40 minutes or so with traffic definitely an hour and Oakland is right here so let's go over back to the map here I'm going to kind of talk about how to get into San to Walnut Creek we always kind of use San Francisco as our anchoring point because that's where everyone's going to fly into or Oakland and Walnut Creek is located in the East Bay so it's a super desirable town you can kind of see because it's close enough to San Francisco where you you know you can drive in there and commute but it has a BART station which I've always talked about how great that is to have that BART station here in Walnut Creek so what you would do the BART station is right there let's zoom in a little bit see Walnut Creek BART station so you would take it hop over and it would take this map out you would just basically go all the way down this area and then you go under the water and it would land you right to there. The first stop is like the ferry building, which is, I believe it is, oh my gosh, why am I drawing a blank on the BART station? <laughs> I think it's Powell Street. <laughs> I'm so bad I haven't taken BART in so long, but it'll drop you right off there. This is where all the work is, all the buildings and everything. So the first stop there is gonna get you right into um, San Francisco and you can kind of go to the different office building, walk, or you could take a couple more down. The BART to the airport is the very last um, stop in the line of the San Francisco line. So it's going to put you down here um, around here somewhere. It's just called SFO um, is the actual BART stop. So let's go back to Walnut Creek here, which is um, what we're talking about today. So you can see a lot of people, like I said, they like to live in Walnut Creek because it's a bigger town. You've got the neighboring towns of Arenda, Lafayette, Pleasant Hill, and Alamo that kind of um, neighbor Walnut Creek and Concord's over here. Again, like I said, it's not too far from the city. If you're working in Alameda, Oakland, Berkeley, it's really not that far. And the beautiful thing is it's more, more affordable, Walnut Creek, than these, these areas. And these areas are more impacted. So their, their properties are going to be closer together. You're not going to have as much room as you would have here in like the Lafayette, Arenda, Walnut Creek, Alamo areas, Moraga. There's just more property available here more um there's more space um, you can always check out my videos on the things to do in Walnut Creek because there's so many things um that you can do like I said um in the videos that will pop up you've got a video on like all the activities the different zip codes that I've broken down kind of showing you like neighborhood tours so you can kind of really get in depth of Walnut Creek and like the different zips but basically I'm just going to kind of give you an overview of the things that are really cool so you've got Rossmore here 
which is kind of a subdivision of Walnut Creek. It's uh, nestled up in here in the trees. This is a retirement community. People often ask me, you know, oh, it's so much cheaper in Rossmore, like the apartments and condos and townhouses. And I'm like, well, the thing about Rossmore that's great is it is right next to, you know, Walnut Creek and it's actually really close to the downtown area, which is right here, South Broadway. But it's a retirement community. It's 55 up, 55 and up. So there are different amenities that are really great. You can see this big um, golf course here. There's a ton of different amenities that they um, give to the people that live in Rossmore and you're going to pay for those. So you're going to pay a higher HOA fee for those. So we can talk about that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm probably going to dive into a video on Rossmore eventually, but I just, my current clients, I don't have a lot of uh, 55 and up. A lot of people are leaving, you know, California and going elsewhere to like retire because it's so expensive here. But Rossmore is a really nice area if you have the uh, money and can make that investment. Uh, again, I love Walnut Creek because its accessibility to the freeway is really great. There is a ton of um, parks, great schools, and lots of shopping and dining. So as you kind of come down here into the South Broadway area, you've got Kaiser here, which is a big hospital. Um, I really love John Muir, which is up here on Ignatio. Where is John Muir? It's over here. Nah, where are you, John Muir? There it is. Yeah, right there. Medical Center, John Muir Medical Center. So it's right off the main road here, Ignacio. You're gonna catch a lot of traffic if you live up here, which is normal. If you're living closer to downtown, because what happens is people are coming down to Ignacio to get onto the freeway. I love downtown. I just got a, a question actually last night about a single person looking to move to Walnut Creek, uh, potentially buy and they wanted to pick my brain about the best locations. I love being close to downtown because like I said, you've got all the shopping here. You know me, I'm a big shopper. I love dining. Nordstrom's down here, Cheesecake Factory, Macy's, Trader Joe's. There's a ton of stuff. And if you get in, you can see all the different um, Apple stores here, Container, Ross True Food Kitchens. This is in the plaza. So you would actually park here. There's a parking garage over here by Whole Foods, right? It's right in this area and Whole Foods is right there. All of this section is going to be all like kind of townhouses and condos. So a lot of those are going to be already purchased or like owned by corporations. Some will, will trickle in. You can get a couple here or there. But again, the closer you get, because this is all prime location for walking distance to downtown, because you can just go here, eat. I mean, this whole area, North um, California, Main Street. This is all a ton of like, you know, food, vendor shopping. It's this is like like right here, this whole section of Walnut Creek is just the bomb. Like you've got Target down here. This is getting kind of farther away from the, the main action, but the BART's right there. So if you hopped off on BART, you could literally walk to Target, hang out, do whatever. Just come down this way. It's a little bit of a trek. It's not going to be an easy trek or a walk, but if you had a bike, it'd be a little bit easier, but you could do it. You could walk all the way down here and easily, you know, go to Teleferic. It's so good. This whole, this whole little block right here is like the main hub of Wanna Creek. Teleferic's there. Um, Tiffany's is here. Uh, Neiman Marcus is over here. Rooftop, all this, see all the little forks you can see. These are all like restaurants and stuff that uh, you, you just love. A Main Street Kitchen is like one of my favorite spots. I love that place. Actually, my ultimate favorite restaurant here in Walnut Creek is Vada V. I love Vada V. It's just small plates. It's like been there forever. It's fantastic. So you can see all these different coffee shops. Telus Coffee is awesome. And just walk down here and it's all shops and, and restaurants. So like I said, got deterred. These areas right here, real close to downtown and over here are all going to be um, condos, townhouses. You're not going to get much actual houses here. You will get some sprinkled in, but you're going to get primarily like townhomes and whatnot. So just something to take note of. And then as you get, like as you kind of branch out into the suburb area, you over here by like the medical center, there's like Heather Farms. There's so many great parks here. Heather Farms is one of my favorites. The kids love it because it's a really big park and there's like a skate park right here. I believe tennis courts right here. There's a whole soccer field here. You can like take your kids to ride their bikes around here. And the play structure is right here. And there's an actual swim set you can see right there. And there's also a golf course, right? So there's just a plethora of things to do and you can catch the Iron Horse Trail. There's a dog park right here. This is the 
um, Iron Horse Trail that kind of leads in from Pleasant Hill and you could take that. But as you can see, there's a ton of great things to do um, in Wanna Creek. So I really love it. The parks are awesome. You've got Ruth Bancroft Garden over here. It's it's beautiful kind of succulent garden. You can get a membership there. Cali Craft Brewery. Oh my gosh, I could dive into this whole Shadelands area. It's all completely renovated. There are a lot of houses over here, like in this section, which are amazing by Northgate, which I'll get into. But let's talk about like the Cali Crafts and the Shadelands area. There's a great Safeway shopping center here with a ton of restaurants and a little park behind it, which I love going to that park with my son. But Cali Craft Brewing is awesome. Let's see if you can click on some photos here. It's, yeah, it's just a super cool little place where you can go and take your kids, eat outside. What, why they built it, the way they built it was this ultimate field house. It basically entertains like all types of sports. I think basketball and I want to say baseball. I haven't gotten into it too much because my son's little. But the, what happens is they have a lot of sporting events over here. And then they head over to Cali Craft or they'll go over to this little Safeway Shadeland section and like eat and have fun you know, family days on the weekends stuff. It's just super, super convenient. So this whole area is really, really desirable of Walnut Creek. You've got Northgate High School. Um, there's a ton of elementaries that I would say definitely check out online and, and Google and um, find out the rankings. But Northgate High is like one of the, and Los Lomos, which is down here, over here somewhere. Those are the two top high schools in Walnut Creek. They're exceptional. Like you'll be very happy with them. Ignacio is a little bit of mixed reviews. So I definitely say Ignacio's over here. Look into that and see if it's something, um, you know, for you. But, you know, the schools in Wanna Creek are really, 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 really great. So I wouldn't worry too much, but it's, you know, all, all, all taste and preference to the person who has the kiddos. So people that have the kiddos. So I really love the high schools and elementaries in Wanna Creek. There's actually a really cute little neighborhood. Um, it's over here, Lakewood. I love this area. It's, I had a friend that lived here. He actually sold his property. I think it was right here. And it's a little lake in the middle of Wanna Creek. It's just such a cute little, um, cute little area. It's called Lakewood. And there's a whole association with it, but it's right next to Indian Valley. It's a great school, Wanna Creek Hikes Elementary. It's great. Again, you've got so many different things about Wanna Creek that are so phenomenal. The schools are, are awesome. And the hiking, I mean, as you can see, looking at this map, you've got Mount Diablo right over here. And see right there. And you have a ton of parks. I mean, there's so many places that you can hike, like Shell Ridge, Castle Rock Regional Recreation Area, Mount Diablo. Like you could go on so many different hikes. And I have videos that go over this and like the different areas, you know, that you can hike and do stuff. I should actually do a video on just hikes. That would be probably useful. But there's so many parks, there's so many hikes. And like I said, there's a great downtown. So like the downtown is just it's amazing. You know, there's tons of like food and dining options. Um, I mean, there's just a plethora of it. There's so much more compared to like the littler towns over here, you know, Pleasant Hill and, and Concord. I mean, yeah, these are other parks over here. Well, Lindsay Wildlife is amazing. Larky Park. I actually was just there with my son and they had an entire row of lounge chairs that you could just watch the kids playing on the park. It's, it's amazing. But yeah, so I mean, there's a plethora of things to do. There's lots of hotels, the Marriott, uh, Wanna Creek Residence Inn. You've got Bay Club. I mean, there's so many places here that you'll be so happy, you know, to be a part of in Wanna Creek. And I think that it's just a really, it's a massive city. It's not small, but there's lots of opportunity for growth here and places to meet people and just activities to do. So that's why, you know, in this market, you kind of have to know what you're getting into. And it is a tough market out there. I'm not going to lie. You know, we have clients that have been putting offers and not getting them. And it's just, it's, it's rough out there. So you need to have a team that knows what to do and knows where, you know, how to put offers in and be competitive and where in Walnut Creek is good to be because it is a big town. But again, in comparative to the rest of the Bay Area, it's a very accessible town. So I love Wanna Creek. Our team is happy to help. 
and you know answer any kind of questions you may have we know it can be overwhelming and sometimes maybe you dive into Wana Creek and see gosh you know what this might not be the right place for me because my commute's too far you know we can help you figure that out and um, where it can be your eyes and ears so that's why you want to reach out to us ask us questions email us and we are here for you days and nights so I'm going to show you some b-roll of the city and what it looks like so enjoy and until next time I hope you guys got some value out of this All right, so there you can see Wana Creek is an amazing place to live. We've got all kinds of activities here, hiking, biking, shopping, dining, great schools, great parks, you name it. We have amazing stuff in Wana Creek for you and your family. So the only thing that's missing is you and your beautiful home. And the only way you can get that is to contact us, reach out, let us know those cues, see how we can help you. Email us days, nights, weekends. We got you covered when coming on over here to Wana Creek, California. All right, guys, till the next video. Peace.